Hello, fellow African entrepreneurs. Welcome to the show, The African Hub. I'm your host, Rebecca, and we have a very exciting topic because it's about business, starting a business. We would like to know what are those mistakes that we do when starting a business? It's been found out of research that we pretty much make the same mistakes. So why not tackle them so that we can avoid them and have our businesses thrive? We know that starting a business is very exciting. It's a moment that you feel like you've achieved something. Along with achievement, creep in these mistakes. So let's find out which they are and avoid them and get our businesses to thrive. First is lack of proper market research. Before you start a business, it's very important to know, learn about the market where you want to operate, who are existing there, who are your competitors, and what are they doing? Because if you don't do this, you're setting up yourself to start from a wrong foot. Doing market research is the way you will realize the way things are done in that market at that moment. And it will help you do something maybe in a different way, in a better way, and put you on the, right, on the, on the winning side in that business. Without proper research, you may miss out on critical insights and opportunities leading to potential failure. Next is insufficient business planning. Let's use an example of a house. As we are building houses, we know that you make a plan, you find out where, where you want to put your sitting room, where you want to put your bedroom, and so on and so forth. Let's use the same example, bring it into this topic of today. What about your business? Before you start your business, how do you want things to be in your business? How will you make the profit? How will you market your business? Which, which, is the, which are the regions you want to operate and which services are you going to provide? If you don't make a plan of all that, it is like starting off a journey without a roadmap. Businesses with a clear plan are more likely to succeed because they have a roadmap to follow. Underestimating financial management. We know that when you start a business, there's that kind of thing which tells you that, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it now. I can do it all. You want to juggle this and juggle that and juggle the other. When it comes to accounts, financial management, I would advise for you to have someone who is professional at doing that. Or if you decide to do it by yourself, there are some operating systems which are doing it. Or you may even invest yourself in yourself a lesson. Some courses, maybe a free course, maybe a chargeable course, less costly, and you learn the, the, the key, the basics of accounting. Because if you don't take it seriously with accounting with your business, you're most likely going to mess up financially, and that's not a good thing for your business. Without proper financial management, your business can quickly run into trouble. Next is neglecting legal and regulatory compliances. Before you start a business, it is extremely important you identify the area in which you want to operate and then find out what is required for you to be able to execute that kind of service or for you to be able to sell that product that you want to sell. Because if you don't follow regulations set by the government, you're going to have legal problems, you're going to have penalties which are very expensive and the money you would have used to grow your business might end up actually paying for your, your, for your, for your violations and that's not a good thing for your business. It's essential to be on the right side of the law right from the start. Then we have poor marketing and branding. It's key. It's essential. The way you brand yourself is what differentiates you from other people. Now, what we often do, and this is a big mistake that, that many people fall culprits, we underestimate putting a budget, allotting a budget to marketing. And marketing is actually basically making someone else know about that service that you provide, making someone know about the product that you sell. Now, imagine if you don't tell it to others, how will they know? You might have a very wonderful item that you're selling. You might be excellent at the service that you provide, but if people don't know about it, you're not planning to provide the service to yourself. So that means you're, you're beginning a business without even guaranteeing who is going to be your customer. But to ensure you have customers coming in, you need to be able to allot a budget for your marketing and you need to put money, allot a budget for your branding. Differentiate yourself from the rest of the people that provide the same service as you are. 
building a strong brand and marketing strategy can be a game changer for your business. The next mistake is failure to adapt and innovate. The world is moving at a very high speed. It is so fast paced. If you don't catch up, you're most likely going to stay behind. Now, the mistake will come in when in your industry, there's an innovation that is making the work better and you're refusing to adapt to it and you keep operating in the old end ways, which might actually end up giving you, uh, setting you up for failure or providing work that is compromised. It is always very good to Work on this at, at the same pace with the way the world is moving. Find out what is new in the market that you're operating. Find out how are people doing things now? What are the new operating systems? How are people executing this same work in a much easier way? When you do that, you're going to set up yourself for winning. You will be a step ahead of your competitors and you're most likely going to have your business grow. Successful businesses embrace change and continuously seek ways to improve. We have a mistake of not seeking mentorship and networking. It is very important. The more people you meet, the bigger your network is, the more chances of success, the more chances of growth in your business. Now, if you're a kind of business person, an entrepreneur who undermines the importance of networking, you're doing it wrong. It's a mistake. When you attend these network, networking events, people talk. They share their stories. They share their mistakes. They share the new things they're using to make their business come easier. Mentoring is important in a way that every place that you want to reach, there's a person who has been there before. Now, if you allocate one and they are kind enough to allow you walk under them, learn from them, it's a gem. Learning never ends. When you go to another level, then you find a person who is where you want to go. Make friends with them, learn from them, follow them. Don't hesitate to reach out and learn from those who've been there before you. Last for today is lack of resilience and perseverance. The world is not an easy place. It's not like a smooth walkover, which is part of life. It's normal. I mean, it's fine. But how do you handle it? If you're faced with challenges in your business, how do you handle it? The biggest mistake we make as we are looking at these mistakes is when something hits us hard, we want to back off. That means your business will not go forward. But if you want to guarantee success for your business, avoid the mistake of quitting. Don't quit. If it's a problem that has come, stand firm, address it, and get the best out of it. Because successful entrepreneurs stay resilient. They learn from failures and keep moving forward. We are launching a marathon where we are going to have the beauty of Africa in one place. As you know, it's the African hub. So if you are there and you like to participate, it is very simple. You take up your phone, your camera, or whichever way is easier for you. And you, you, you cover, you take a coverage for the, that beautiful place about your country. Or you can, it can just be a speech from you mentioning the beauty of your country. And you send it through to us through WhatsApp. That is plus 971-58. 5840805 or through an email info at nikemediaservices.com. You send us a video talking about your country. We want to have representatives from all African countries, each and every one of them. So what DK Media Services will do is to put all these videos together, stitch them into one video that will highlight the beauty of Africa. I'm sure you want to be a part of this. That has been the show for today. I hope you've had something to learn from it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And to make sure I don't miss our next episode, which is going to be very interesting as well, we will be hosting an entrepreneur. An African entrepreneur, very, very enthusiastic, and you don't want to miss her. So if for you to make sure you don't miss that show, please subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and every time we have a new video, you'll be able to know. This video has been made possible by DK Media Services. We are professionals at videography, photography, and digital marketing. You can find our contact details in the description section. Get in touch with us to make your brand known. To have the best content for your brand, one that resonates with your target audience. Because of time, I won't go beyond here. I hope to catch you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.